We haven't seen much sun this December. It's been rainy, damp, and gloomy. But for me, heading outdoors usually curtails the winter doldrums. One can only watch so much YouTube. You shouldn't go outside though. You should binge watch our channel. So today was just one of those days where we're just spinning our wheels. We had big plans and nothing happened. I wanted to get some wood stacked that's been sitting out in the donkey field. Amanda wants me to hook the trailer up to the tractor and bring it over to the horse field so we can stack some wood in it. Yeah, I want to get that wood moved, so. Right, well, we're going to put a tow ball on the back here, so I have to remove the drive shaft, and I need to buy a tow ball that will fit, so I'm measuring the size of the hole. What are your calculations, <laughs> Professor? This thing's kind of funny. It's very French, I guess. I don't know. But Sorry. you had been concerned that the drive shaft was difficult to take off. I just saw a video. This is the, this is the drive shaft. Right. The... And it's hooked to the oh. mowing deck, right. which we need to remove and obviously clean off. I mean, <laughs> so you watched a video and yeah, the parts it, aren't the same. It was very simple, but ours is different. So, yeah. Um, yeah. This is Enzo. He's a tripod dog who wants to become trilingual. Mi chiamo Amanda. I'm half Italian and want to be able to communicate with my family. And that's why we're studying Italian with the Babbel app. Babbel makes learning easy, and we can see why it's one of the top language learning apps in the world. I compagni di classe. Babbel teaches real-world conversations. Lessons prepare you to have practical discussions about travel, business, relationships, and food. Enzo! E ora di cena niente spaghetti strasera devi mangiare per cani. Devi stare attente al tuo peso. Babbel is amazing. We actually use it, and it's proven to help you start speaking a new language within three weeks. If you have someone on your holiday gift list that's always hard to buy for, why not gift a Babbel subscription and open new world worlds to loved ones, or give yourself the gift of Babbel and explore a new language yourself. Click on the link to get 60% off your subscription, and let us know in the comments which language you'd like to learn. Grazie, Babbel. So behind the tractor is this old carriage. I'm not sure how far this dates back to, but it's, it's kind of cool. It'd be kind of fun to hook up the donkeys to them at some point. But I think the donkeys would rebel. So that is a better view of the carriage. It's three o'clock already and the sun is starting to go down. It really gets dark around 5.30. So the day is really cut short for us and we have so much to do. So I just kind of said, screw it. Um, just gonna come out here in the garden and and just do that. Lincoln is in the cottage. I'll be back. You guys stay there. We're keeping an eye on them now so they don't run away. How's it going in there? trying to prepare. Yeah. So while Lincoln um, takes down the ceiling, you do your own filming out here. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, you usually set the shot up for me. Yeah. somebody coming over to check the beams for us. Yeah, soon. I don't know how it's gonna go. It's all a... Yeah. Okay. 
So we're not in a hurry. It'll be done when it's done. There is a method to our madness. <laughs> We've been spending the last couple of weeks slowly making our way around the garden, clearing any huge weeds, spreading compost, and covering the beds. Three down, five to go. So we have this bed covered. We have that bed covered. <laughs> so that's two. I'm working on number three right here. And uh, these are my strawberries, which... Uh, now, from what I've read, you're supposed to replace strawberries maybe every three years or so. I have a lot that I've transplanted in here. It looks like a complete mess, and it is. Uh, I'll see what happens in the spring. I don't think we need an entire bed of strawberries. It's just, it's just too much. So I have these three other beds to do. This one, that one, and that one. But boy, did it turn out to be a nice afternoon. I was just trying to get all these nettles out and they just create a huge mess beneath. So I just wanted to try to get the nettles all around the edges and, and get everything. Anything big, I'm, I'm kind of taking out. The little vegetation and weeds I don't need to worry about, but this is pretty nice soil. I see some wormies in there. Uh, so I'm going to Put a little compost on top and then cover this up for the winter. Well, I guess I shouldn't be throwing uh, 
potatoes in here because we're we're growing uh, we're growing potatoes in the compost. <laughs> they're green. They're no good, but it's funny. Potatoes. Is this an avocado? Someone can tell me? Am I growing avocados in my compost? So this is my compost. It's not it's not perfect, but it's it's nice. This is the wrong spot for for a compost pile. We don't have sides on it. It's sitting under a tree and we're going to have these limbs cut down. So I do need to relocate it or get something together, but for now it's it's totally fine. I'm calling it a day. Back out here tomorrow. Except I lost my gloves. What's new? <laughs> so I'm standing in front of the cottage that Lincoln's working on. So it is this one right here, which connects to this barn and then the other cottage is over there. We would really like to put a couple of dormers in this building eventually once we do fully renovate it so you have a pretty view to the garden. And the cottage is a bit dark so maybe a window as well, we'll see. Um, but that's something we're not going to do now, that's just for the future. But it is pretty back here. This is one of my favorite, favorite spots. We have a broken window. So what did you do? <laughs> I was many feet away and that piece over there came down. It's like five feet long. Oh boy. Okay. So we need to get some plastic. Cause I don't want birds flying around in here. Yeah. Okay. Glasses over there, by the way. Yeah, I see it. Okay, well, this was the window that was cracked already, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that so one I, had been cracked, I so. Did it on purpose. <laughs> okay, well, my day isn't over yet. <laughs> to fix a window. Plastic. I'm not even going to show you this area, but I will. Look at this mess. When you have big spaces, that's what you do. You cram it with a mess. Well, at least it was a window that was already cracked, so.
Wow, that looks awful. Mm. That's not what you want to see. No, not really. We first started removing wallpaper, I think maybe like a year or so ago. Beneath the wallpaper was this styrofoam, which is possibly the worst thing you can put on plaster walls. It well, just it provides insulation. I guess it <laughs> provides insulation, but when we came in here, remember the, the musty smell? Oh yeah, that was bad. Yeah, so it's all up here, all the um, styrofoam. It doesn't smell in here anymore. No, it doesn't. So we've kind of aired it out. So I just came into the cottage and found this bone in the sink. And Lincoln said it fell out of, he said it fell out of the ceiling. I'm not certain if it fell out of the ceiling. But it, it was in here, you swept it up or it fell. It, it ended up on the floor when they had messed it before. But. So that's pretty big. I don't know what that is. You can see my fingers. I don't know. Oh, that's creepy. Makes me sad, too. I hope it's not human. <laughs> human, maybe? No. No, 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 no. What, what would that bone be? Like a fox or something? Something that has a leg like that long. That would be a, the most likely thing, a fox or a dog. Ooh. That's more likely a, a feral animal, so a fox. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> And Lincoln also found this little, little thing, which I can use as a, probably was, it looks like it had wax on it, a little candle snuffer. Party hat. Or a party hat, but I will <laughs> bring it inside and use it to snuff candles. I've been looking for one. refrigerator jars. These are great. Since we don't use plastic to store anything anymore. Boy, these are nice. Our Christmas tree has managed to stay vertical even with Pickle climbing it at least once a day. But how can one possibly get mad at a kitten who likes to snuggle up and watch a movie? After Lincoln was finished uncovering the beam, our expert showed up to inspect them. What will we do? Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.